Welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. It is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. I'm going to say good day pretty quickly. I won't go through all of the languages today. If you were familiar with the show, welcome back. If not, welcome. Uh, I'd like to just say good day. O si yo, hao, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, cien dobre, and the rest I'll let you read for today. We're going to have to go a little quicker than usual than I like today. I just want to make sure I can get this little show out to you. That's why um, we're going to just j dive right in. So for now, you just see a nice little image I have of a chocolate fondue with marshmallow. And it's uh, in flame right now. So it just looked like the appropriate um, image for today for some reason. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, today's question of the day is, looking up at the sun, or a reflection of it, is there a sky studio lamp going on, or their lenses or bulbs? Something's happening, because this was taken on, on as you see, May 16th, 2019, looking up at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And I just see this, you know, very structured cross form, and these very pronounced circular, you know, light forms coming through. And so it just looked like tech to me, no other way around it. Um, at first, I'm thinking it looks like a studio lamp, you know, it reminds me of the four bulbs. And then just for fun, I had these oranges <laughs> in a bowl or tangerines. And uh, as you see the cross form, that's why it was reminding me of lamps, uh, like bulbs. But as I looked further into the little bulb issue, as you see why I kind of inferred that at first, uh, I thought, okay, it just feels very like bulbs to me. But let's, let's keep a wide open mind and look at some other options. So as I've said on this channel, I'd like to invite you to keep a really wide open mind, a very curious and inquisitive mind, because there are a lot of things happening up in the sky that aren't natural. Some are. And some are just honestly just unexplainable right now until we get more information or more visual evidence. So I invite you, please do look at some previous videos I have up. Um, previous shows that do talk about things like chemtrails and uh, other objects in the sky and shapes and things. Um, really just we're here to discuss things and, and take critical thinking on things. So whatever I present to you, I always invite you to come with your own imagination, your own skill set, mindset, technical set, your own experiences, and just put things all together to, for yourself as well. Also, just go out and look up and start as you look at things. Um, also check in with your gut level feeling on what you're witnessing. So as I said, my first gut level feeling looking up and seeing this was, okay, maybe it's some kind of bulb work going on, some lights. But I kept digging a little bit because that didn't seem to fully describe the picture here as I also noted some other sun behavior. So uh, eventually, you know, if you just do a search on, online on the net, and just go to artificial sun or artificial moon, you're gonna see a lot of very interesting stuff. So here's lens work done by um, someone in Germany that created in a massive array of these lights to, to create an artificial sun. Now this is the uh, Solar Dynamics Observatory, the SDO, uh, little telescope satellite that flies around and captures things on the sun. It has uh, some lens work and uh, some Focusing, fo focusing work, so I'm just putting that up there. You know, here you see like a quadrant of four with the thing dividing it. But you know, that, that really wasn't quite it either for me. So then I dug a little further, you know, online looking around and there are patents for um, solar simulators. Okay, just look at that too in a basic search and you're gonna see a bunch of patents um, ranging from, excuse me, in the 1960s so, you know, just on the quickest search I could even do, you know, I found some from 1960, 1966, 1983, even 2020. Okay, so this particular one was applied for in 1960, and I guess was granted in 1966. So I think, you know, if you've looked at it long enough, you see what I'm getting at. You know, do these look familiar? <laughs> That's my little, you know, four pattern of four. Uh, so for right now, and again, with all the research everyone's doing, especially on other sky watching and earth watching sites, and I hope you're going over there and I'm gonna give you uh, some ideas of what other, other ones to check out also. Uh, you're gonna see, we're just, you know, we're looking at the skies, trying to come up with our best guesses since we don't own either a spacecraft or anything and can go up and verify things. And um, since the chemtrailing or veiling of the whole skies is pretty intense, 
it's really hard to get a good fix on what exactly is happening. There are also different kinds of projections going on up in the sky. Um, so anyway, I just invite you to take a little more, you know, a closer look at this yourself. But this is the best one I can come up with, with this very odd observation, you know, that I, I've seen a couple of times. Just, you know, doesn't fit as a natural uh, cause. So for me right now, this is what I'm going with. Looks pretty darn convincing to me. Okay, here's another direct observation uh, made in Miami. This one on uh, February 21st, 2020. Uh, this is a sequence happening starting at 719. You know, you observe this white outwash of, of brightness. It's not the natural sun, really. It's just like a white glare. Then 721, something weird's happening here. You know, just see the appearance of these two other, you know, circles kind of emerging of a bar. And then I, then I see... Um, at what, 722, this thing, it seems to be kind of rotating around, and then voila, here we go, we've got that cross with the four lamps, a little distorted, a little more, you know, bent out into a, a spherical shape, but clearly something, to me, looks like it's being projected. And this object, where'd my cursor go? Here we go. Uh, to me, that is not the sun. Now, again, you're going to see on different sides, people are going to have contradictory, uh, contradictory opinions, and that's fine. We're all just here trying to prov provide what evidence we're seeing and, you know, come up with the best theory and get the best um, deduction of what could be going on so we can get to the truth on what's happening in the sky. Now, to me, if you can clearly look at this object, it's not the sun at 722 in the morning. You should not be able to look directly at the sun you know, as, as a distinct ball. So my opinion, um, we're going to walk, walk through a couple more slides to support that. But to me, this is a, some other object. I don't know if it's artificial or if it's like a moon, but clearly it's reflecting light off of another source. And I believe our sun that we know is our natural sun is being occluded, is being, um, you know, veiled by a lens work system. And that at certain times, that lens work gets boosted and magnified to this white glare. So you cannot see things like this. Okay, and I, I don't think there's just one object going around the sun or near the sun either. That's another topic in the future. We can look at that. Okay, so same set, uh, same kind of rough time frame. Now we're going into 722 uh, to 723. So that cross, you know, form, projection, leaves. And then, you know, you see even another object, plus this one, plus whatever is going on with the light projection boost. And then all of a sudden, something is boosted, again, what I believe from that projected lens work, that it just becomes all one big mass, and you can't pick out the individual bodies anymore. That's all. So something is happening. Tech is up there. Now, this is just a little quick uh, cheat sheet for references of other channels out there that are looking at things now. Everyone's going to have a wide range of belief systems, um, whether it's religious or no religion or somewhere in between. I'm not here to, to discuss that or send you over there to look at that. I'm sending you over to other channels as well because they're inspirational. They capture uh, images from around the world. Um, some are very fixed on looking at um, the SDO, the, you know, the solar observer, I mean the uh, solar satellites. Uh, they're picking up an object near the sun. This one is too. So we've got blue, it was blue cool wave, now it's Wages World. Planet X News picked up this. Gina Maria Calvin Hill picked up just with a um, camera observation and a clip on lens zoom, you know, two objects. That's the sun. Uh, Mr. MBB333 has a bigger object, the sun, with another body near it. Uh, WSO has the sun with some weird object drawing off of it. So the occluding disc on that particular image uh, fell away for a split second and he was able to capture that moment where you see what the sun body is and then something appears to be drawing energy off of it. Then we've got Naughty Beaver who caught some other wave thing happening here. Now uh, also sorry Nige's view on things in conjunction with Jeff P. They had a, a live stream the other day and there we go. There's my little four lamp or four lens system actually four lens system happening above the sun and these are also like pedal Either they, they refer to them as um, petal lenses, you know, around the sun. So, again, do check out some of these other folks. Um, they've given me the impetus to, to get started and, and capture some things on my own, looking up at the sky, sky observations. And I invite you, please, go daily, look at the, look at the sky, especially now uh, in these times. It seems like there's a hotbed of activity, activity happening all around the world up in the sky. So do take a look. Okay, here's another day, um, May 23rd, uh, 2019. This is toward um, sunset, so close to 7 p.m. 
and I noticed, okay, what is going on here? We've got a clear, distinct ball. Again, I should not be able to look at it just with my naked eye, with no lens protection, but yet I could, because uh, we had this massive dark cloud system showcasing it. But yet, uh, clear, clearly another bright, bright sun source, a solar source of some type. Um, here's a zoom in, you know, look at that, a burning ball of some type, which I believe is a lens work over our natural sun. And then yet we have this object clearly reflecting brightly off of that. So again, to me, we've got an artificial source covering our natural sun source, and this is either artificial or a heavenly body, a moon type thing uh, reflecting off of the sun. Heck, it could even be a spacecraft for all I know. You know, we got to keep uh, everything on the table for consideration these days. Okay, one more. Um, zoomed in on uh, November 12th, 2019, close to 3 o'clock on this image, and then later, almost 45 minutes later, it's still hanging around. So again, a distinct object, the glaring source. Um, over here, I think the object is here and the glaring source is here. Okay, so um, I like to kind of end with a little more tongue-in-cheek, like-hearted view of all this stuff. So here's that same... Uh, lens work that I was looking at, and this is an astrolabe, so it just reminded me of the structure of the cross and the four compartments, and I love the definition of an astrolabe. Um, it's just beautiful. Uh, hold on, folks. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So the really great definition for astrolabe is an astronomical measurement and navigation instrument, and I love the etymology from Greek, astron and lambanian, meaning the one who catches the heavenly bodies. Okay, well, thank you for pondering things here a while with me. This is just a beautiful lotus, uh, lotus pond um, in Miami. Uh, thank you for being here, and I hope everyone is just having a fantastic day wherever you are, whatever you're up to, whether it's uh, daytime or evening. Best wishes to everyone and tremendous peace. Thank you from Lavender Sky Panther. Bye-bye.